Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Agent Nemitz. Welcome back to another NBA 2K23 My Career video. I got my face scan now. I face scanned myself into the game. If you want to um, know how to do that, I did a tutorial on it. So go check out that tutorial. It probably was about a week or two weeks ago at this point, but I got my face in the game now. We got, we're totally customized and repped out too. If you didn't watch the last video, we did a bunch of quest side stuff. Um, yeah, there's so there's a lot going on. Obviously, there's the quest. You can see the one that was on our screen. Find Ricky in the tunnel. Someone we have to meet. So we're going to do that. But we also got a little side mission from Coach Graves last time to complete three coach drills. Um, so we're going to head, before we do anything, we're going to head over to the practice facility, get that done, hopefully get 5% my points accelerator. That would be amazing. And then there's also the Chris Brickley challenges available. There's like, there's stuff, another side quest with Lozo the Crown that we get some corporate points and fans for. So there's some stuff we can go ahead and knock out real quick and I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So unfortunately no coaches drills were available to do. That's the drills, not the ones you select, but the ones that you can, um, you go to the coach and they make you do drills. I think it's every other one that they show up, but I'm not for sure. However, I did get really close to a my points attribute cat breaker, and I did get a defensive badge. So we're gonna go ahead and slap this on something. I'm thinking, I'm thinking off ball pest. Make players more difficult to get past when playing off ball, as they can grab and hold their matchup. Yada yada yada. Um, yeah, we're gonna go with that one for our badge today and then we're gonna head over to Brickley's gym But before we do that I can upgrade my attributes today. I forgot I forgot that it's uh It's the day to do that or the you know before the game. We want to do that anyways So we've been having a lot of fun shooting and stuff. Um, I really want to be faster like I really Really want to be faster. And I think it has to do with my acceleration. So I have to stay under 66 Wow, okay, I can get a long ways with my acceleration to stay under 66. All right, and it looks like that's all we can do, so we're now gonna be a 68 in acceleration. Thank you very much. Now on to Brickley's gym. All right, we finished it up. Hey, nice, we got a cat breaker. I mean, it's not gonna play in effect much until we get, ooh, ding. <laughs> it's not gonna play in effect very much until uh, we get down the road a little bit further because we're just upgrading one overall per per level here But that's fantastic. We did a great job MP what's going on brother? I was good Ronnie. Hey, how that wedding planning going? Uh, we're planning a honeymoon now we're, we're, oh, where, What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Uh, uh, Trenton. You just want New Jersey? Oh, yeah, it's beautiful in the spring. You should you should see it. Uh, but more importantly, it's the LARPing capital of New Jersey. Live action role play. I don't know if you know about it. It's how me and my fiance met, actually. We were both on a Civil War LARP. I remember it like it was yesterday. She was on the Confederate side. I was on the Union side. Kind of a Romeo and Juliet situation. Forbidden love, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, lately we've been getting into more Nordic scenarios. Vikings, pointed hats, fur coats, that sort of thing. So we're going to try to set the world record for largest LARP Nordic scenario. They got records for all these different scenario types historical fantasy nordic nordic's my personal favorite the biggest nordic larp on record is 23 players so we think we can beat that pretty easily especially at a place as beautiful and exotic as trenton new jersey who wouldn't want to be in trenton when the cherry blossoms bloom anyway oh by the way i almost forgot i've got a challenge for you if you complete it there's a reward event for you a word all right man thanks let's yeah. do it all right anytime mp All right, Ronnie's blowing smoke like usual. But anyway, so we reached 65 overall. We did it. Now uh, our next goal is 75 overall, and we get a spawn location. I don't know what that means, but it sounds legit. Oh, and by the way, he's over here in the mall for the second one. It's like over in this part of the mall. Um, right over by, what is this? Embellish. He's right by Embellish. Yo, MP, you got time to hit me out with something? I gotta go back to the store. All right, so I came to complete this daily quest too with Lozo the Crown selfie quest. So I had to talk to him. He gave me a shirt, and I have to take a selfie with him in the shirt. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, we got the shirt on. Now I think you take a selfie in camera, and then change the mode. Yep. Okay. So let's. Oh, this is literally. I can't move it. All right, whatever. I think we just take the photo. It's not really selfie worthy, but whatever. <laughs> Save it. 
All right, now let's, uh, I think that's all I had to do, right? Yeah, I think so. I think I just got it. Um, let's make sure. But, it, yeah, it's gone. All right, we got it. We got some fans from it. We got a free shirt. <laughs> oh, there it is. Now everything popped up. All right, time for our game, everybody. I'm excited. Let's go through the metal detector. Got our bling on now. Hopefully it doesn't ping us. <laughs> Um, so our next objective was to find Ricky in the tunnel and then talk to him. So let's get that underway and see see what's going on here. Something must be important. He's right around the corner here. Here he is. Oh, hello, ladies. Better wait for them to go by before I talk to him, right? Yo, MP, MP, come on, what's up, what's up, what's up? Check this out. I want to introduce you to somebody, but be cool, all right? It's Jake Duvall. I can see that, I can see that, I can see that. Yo, Jake, my man. Yeah. Hey, check this out. I want you to meet someone real quick. Yeah. This is MP. Oh, uh, yeah, right on. Oh, nice what's to meet going you, on, man? Uh, huge, huge, huge fan. Can't, I loved you in that, that Jewel Heist movie. Uh, can't can't shine, shine forever. forever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, let me tell you, that was a fun one. I'm not going to lie. I love you, Jake! I love you, too. <laughs> Yo, what about that one movie you did? Uh, the one guy. What's his name? Oh, he, uh, he, he did the other movie mm -hmm. with, with the guy, and they were like brothers and like related somehow. I know somehow. what you're talking about. Um, it was awesome, though, yeah. either way. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Hey, hang on a second. Did you want a picture? Would you? Yeah, absolutely. Come on in here. Let's take it. There you go. Looking good. Nice. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Hey, if you, you, if you're you welcome. I could take a photo for you. <gasps> I should probably busy or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Jake, they love you around here, man. Yeah, honestly, feelings mutual. I mean, I grew up around here, man. These are my yeah. people. Yeah, oh, I mean, we know all about that, oh, man. <laughs> must be nice, man. Listen, <clears throat> MP. Seriously, man. I've been a fan of this team my whole life, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, there's not one type of player that the fans are into, right? You could be shooting lights out, a defensive menace, it doesn't matter, because what the people want is just someone who is authentically themselves. Someone who will do whatever they can, using whatever they got mm. to help the team win. Wow. <laughs> you could be a coach, man. You know what? You should play a coach. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll pass that one out on my agent. Look, guys, I gotta get back to this interview over here, okay? Yeah. <laughs> MP. I know, man, there's a part of you, right, that just wants to show everyone you can out-shep, shep. But I'm telling you, that's a losing game, man. You gotta be yourself. I mean, if you say so. I'm telling you, these people, these fans, they can smell a phony a mile away. You gotta be yourself, and you gotta lay it all out there mm -hmm. on the court mm -hmm. where they can see it. That's how you're gonna be the type of leader that fans can respect. Ooh, 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 you got me riled up, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Jake, thank you, man. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just keep working for the Ws, okay? I'll see you guys around, man. Oh, see man. you later, my man, Jake. <laughs> yeah, you got a couple of questions for That's me? Come Jake. on, we can walk and talk. Yeah, Jake Duval, man, yo, is he not the best? Bro, like, first off, I've never seen you so starstruck before. <laughs> Wait, what? Me? <laughs> you, me. Yes. All right, look, I, I didn't want to say nothing in front of him, but honestly, MP, look, come here. Come here. Look, if we're going to be in front of celebrities all the time, you're going to need to keep your emotions in check. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep them in check. That was embarrassing. Me. Did you see yourself? No, no, did you see your... I'm suave. <laughs> I'll work on it. Fine. Thank you. All right. Well, that was pretty cool. We got a different type of quest we haven't gotten before. Love to see it. It's always good. So then control the narrative. Complete all objectives. Got three games left in that. Um, and then another objective, leadership skill activated. Two. Okay. I can do that. I can activate my leadership skill. So that's... Ooh. Jake DeHoo. What? All right, now Shep's really tripping, man. All these people clowning. What are they doing? He's a celebrity. Just bought a bunch of real estate on MP Island. Glad I was an early investor. I like it. I like it. Um, so pulling up the quest here. So now in the control, the narrative, we completed all those other side things and it is now, um, two leadership skills achieved in the NBA. So in like an NBA game, we have to do that. That's not hard. We'll be able to do that for sure. And that couples right along with completing two more games, which we're about to play one. So we'll play one, hopefully get a leadership skill activated and go from there.
I saw I had a new endorsement and look, it said or a new quest inside and I went in and it's endorsement. SI Kids magazine cover. Ashley is working with the editor in chief of SI, which is Sports Illustrated um kids and thinks she can get you a cover story meet her goals and the cover is all yours let's go that's so hype we get 10,000 fans sports illustrated kids cover 25 nba and 2500 mvp points that's like exciting first endorsement all right so i just wanted to show you my leadership thing i've kind of been looking at it it's weird back when i'm out here it says it's 30 skill points to unlock and I even, like, I watch people play my career, and Chris Smoove has it unlocked. But then when I go in here, it says earn 500 to unlock slot 2. I'm like, uh, what? Why? Uh, so, and I haven't unlocked it yet, so I don't know. It's weird. But I did check out some new stuff. And there's, there's some decent stuff over in this next tier here. And even over here, there's really good stuff. But um, I unlocked this all the way. And to activate the top one, you have to have 10 assists. I figured 5 would definitely be easier. I, I get 10 assists pretty much every game, or close to it. And so I'm not concerned about that, but just to guarantee that I get it, I'm going to bump it down here. Actually, no. I'm going to bump it to silver. But look at all the upgrades you get with it. And look at on the max. I mean, you get plus 27 for us, 31 for the teammates. It's like, okay, this, this is nice. Um, no, I'm confident myself to get 7 assists, though. I'm gonna, I'll go 7. Uh, but let's play the game. All right, we're playing a fully functional um, Pelicans team. Oh, I couldn't I remember their name. <laughs> we're playing a fully functional New Orleans Pelicans team, everybody. Like, and by that, I mean they have Zion Williamson. So this should be fun. <laughs> um, there should This game and next game should be our only two remaining games without a... Without a... Um, not a being a starter. I don't know why I'm tripping over my words right now, but yeah. Should be our next only couple games without being a starter. Alright, first assist underway, hopefully. Crowder, looking good. Go for it. Yes, sir. Wide open, and we green it! Come on. The love! Connects. Let's go. Sorry, getting a nice lob. We should have dunked it, but you know it worked. I get the last second bucket. Yes. Come on now. Hey, let's go. What a pass and what an assist. That's four down. Oh baby, we're green and off the catch. We need that. We're down. We gotta catch up. My goodness. Ooh, I get a putback. I got the offensive board and a putback. I couldn't believe it. Thought I was gonna get sent, honestly. Okay, I'm open. Yes, we needed that big time. Come on. Oh, and I got double takeover. I'm going to have to activate that right now. All right, I got takeover. Let's see what I can do with it. Can I hit this? Oh, my goodness. In his eye. Hello. That takeover, the, the shot take is nice. I tell you what, I can't wait to be a starter. I'm starting now because I got takeover. I kind of cheesed it, but I absolutely cannot wait to be a starter. Trying out something new here with Devin Book. Here, hit him. He's wide. Come on, Book. Yes, sir. That's our fifth assist. Something, something new that I learned that's absolutely cheesy. That you can set a pick with anybody, and I finally learned how to do it. Get the hell out of here! What a block! Score! Score! Score it! Score it! Score it! Yes, you got the rebound! Oh, let's go! Hit me! Down low! I'm bullying the man! I pushed him off me! We got team! Take over! Good, we're climbing back. Finally playing with the starters. The bench. Oh my gosh, they're rough. They are rough to play with, everybody. 
Oh, he's open. Oh, what an assist. They drew that play up for me, and I forgot I had to control him for a second there. And But then I got it. I figured it out. Holy crap. All right, I have double take. So I can hit these. Oh, my goodness, I can hit them. Even contested. That takeover is OP. All right, let's see if... We can get Devin Booker to set us a screen again. He's got 22. They set the screen. Devin Booker. Oh, he did it. And we got the leadership goal. Devin Booker went for the lob this time. Yes, put it on a replay. That was sick. Hit me. I'm going back door. Oh, yes. We are rolling now. All the way. I get hacked and one. Valanchunas had to foul us. We're going crazy with the starters. I think they were trying to sub me out, but I say no. Oh, my goodness. Buckets. Aiton's got a mismatch. Oh, my gosh. He bodied that man. <laughs> Put it on a replay, because he put him on a poster. Booker's open for three. Oh, this is cheese. Booker does nothing but make shots when he's wide open. Oh, hey, there's our team. <laughs> DeAndre Ayton can't be stopped. Oh, my goodness. We almost got double takeover again. Yes. Oh, I'm an assist monster. It's called Devin Booker's number again. He's open. Bust it for me, Booker. Yes, it was deep. And I got double takeover again. Oh, my goodness. We got team takeover. All right, let's try something. I'm going to call for a pick and roll with myself. Because I got team takeover. And then throw myself a lob? Nope, not going to work. <laughs> Hit me back. Yes. All day. I think we almost got 30. Oh, I got hacked. All right, this could be 430 and 31 right here. Come on, let's make it. I think I got it. Yes. 30 points. Back-to-back -back games with 30. I love it. Wow. So I played the entire third quarter. And because of that, because I had takeovers and stuff. But because of that, they sat me the entire fourth quarter. The entire fourth quarter. And we still ended up winning. But, oh my gosh. I can't believe that cheese. What a great game, though. 31 points, 7 rebounds, 12 assists, 69% from the field. And a block, too. Can't forget about that. Well, we brought us back. We were losing the whole game before I absolutely went crazy because <laughs> of Team Takeover. Um, wow, what a fun game. Play banking, badge acquired, leadership goal. We got it. Love it. Oh, boy, Ricky sent us something. We got to see what it is. An interesting bit of news today about the ongoing Shep Owens MP drama. Nate White of the Daily Horn reports that the Phoenix Suns have requested MP, their controversial 18th pick, participate in a PR initiative to win over skeptical fans. So no word yet on what exactly they have in mind to accomplish this goal, but J.J. Perk, what do you think of the notion that MP needs to win over this fan base with off-the-court activities? And here we are. Is more evidence of an organization in disarray. The reason fans booed MP is because he's not as good at basketball as Shep. These are some of the smartest fans in the game. You're not going to win them over with a PR stunt. For once, I agree with you, Perk. Wow. For once. Maybe I should rethink this. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, though, I'm, I'm all for getting involved in the community. Every pro athlete should give back. Amen. That's right. But but if this team thinks MP can make the Shep comparisons go away by being a good guy off the court, they're in for a rude awakening. At the end of the day, NBA fans want wins. 
If MP plays winning basketball, they'll love him. If he doesn't, no amount of PR is going to change their minds. JJ, JJ, for once, you're speaking my language. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'll tell you one more thing. This young man needs to put in work. Leave him alone and let him hoop. Enough is enough already. Uh, we don't know what they asked him to do, so I'm not going to be right. too critical here, but I agree that basketball needs to be his main focus going forward. Preach. If he's going to change this city's mind, he's going to do it with results, not promises. That was refreshingly cordial, fellas. Don't get used to this, <laughs> You got it, big perk. Coming up, trade rumors. It's never too soon to speculate. But first, this quick commercial break. Interesting cutscene to have right out of the game. Uh, and then that popular, famous actor guy's right there. Hey, what's up, dude? Uh, yeah, so leadership skill activate is on pause. Wait, what? Hold on one second here. It says that's on pause. Leadership skill activate. Um, Othello wants to talk to you. Find him in the tunnel. Oh, boy. Um, then we got the optional scrum. Okay. Uh, okay, this is this is crazy. I just want to be a starter, y'all. I just want to be a starter so badly. What do they got? What do they got for me in the scrum? You shot a great percentage tonight after some struggles earlier this season. What did you notice tonight with your shooting? Yeah, coach was encouraging me to shoot more, especially when open. So I tried to step into those open looks, you know, even when it was early on the shot clock. <laughs> my, um, my college coach hated those early threes, but it's the NBA. Kind of weird that you're getting the green light at the higher level, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's still something I'm getting used to, but I enjoy it. You know, there's more spaces at this level, and the team needs me to be, you know, a threat beyond the arc to create lanes, for, you know, open for everyone else. So I'm just happy to play my part. Well, you played it beautifully tonight. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Anytime, man. Great win tonight. The other team really had no answer for you on the offensive end. What did you see out there? What I see out there tonight? Whew. I just woke up feeling good today, man. You know how some days it's just meant to be? That's how I felt. Man. I couldn't miss. So you was in the zone tonight. Come on, man. Yeah, I was in the zone tonight. Shooting tonight felt like throwing a rock in the ocean. You know, it's not gonna be like that every night, but so you just try to enjoy when it does happen. You sure look like you was having a good time. Thanks, man. Thank you. MP, you got a minute? Yeah, what's up? Over here. What's this I hear about you working on some win the city initiative? Look, man, I've been meaning I thought to I was clear with you. Basketball comes first. End of story. I, it does. But I got a lot of people in my ear telling me I got to do other stuff too, man. What? Freddy? What did I tell you about him? You know, I know what you said about Freddy, but just because you don't like him doesn't mean he's going to disappear. I told you. You talk to me if he gives you a hard time. He's not giving me a hard time, Othello. The things that I do outside of the court does not distract me from what I need to do on the court or for this team. I need you focused. I am focused. You are a critical building block for the future of this franchise. I get it. And I appreciate it. I really, really do. But you gotta really trust me on this one. Because I got this. Adam's on the line for you. I... I'm serious. Let me know if Freddie gives you problems, here. Yeah? I promise you. You'll be the first one to know. All right, I'm gonna hold you to that. Give me the... Adam! <laughs> it's been too long, bro. Okay, okay, it's that time again. Who's up first? All right, man, you up first right here. What do you say to the people who question the wisdom of your decision to participate in a PR offensive to win over the hearts and minds of the city?
I'd say they probably don't know me very well or what I'm all about. Okay, what are you all about? Lifting up those around me, Nate. Are you not listening? I mean, on the court and off the court. I've been doing that since day one. But in a new city with a new fan base, I needed a little help getting started, you know? So I got together with the team and with the organization and we talked about how I could make a difference within the community. You got something against making the community better? Because it seems like it. Wait, what, what? Me, me? Yeah, you. Not at all. I mean, I'm just, I, I just think some people see all this as like a, mm. a, like a distraction. Well, that's too bad because it's not. There's 24 hours in a day, so there's plenty of time for me to work on my craft and be a helpful member of society. I think if you ask anyone in that locker room, they'll tell you that I put in just as much work as anybody when it comes to ball. So no, I don't see it as a distraction. I mean, it could be seen as a little cynical, but, um, I mean, something maybe to help the Listen team here, Nate, sell merchandise. I, th- I think I covered this uh, topic adequately. I'm here to play ball and help my community. There's nothing to it beyond that. All right, all right. Thanks for your time, bro. Thank you. All right, cool. Uh, I think I'm done. You guys have a good night. All right, everyone, we're going to go ahead and leave it off right there. I hope you enjoyed this one. It was a a very action-packed one. There's a lot of stuff happening. One game away from being a starter, so next game we'll play. Well, okay, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm right. And then we also, if we get a leadership skill, then we also get four more badge points. Before we end things off, I know I have the, the Sports Illustrated Kids cover I could go do. However, I want to just, I want to, save that for the next one i think it's been going long enough this episode um that being said i have enough to get quick first step if i want it and i think i want it so let's go ahead and unequip these and then put quick first step on Ooh, i'm excited for this can i get that i can't i can't get it on hall of fame i wish i could but gold is going to be good enough for me i hope you all enjoyed this one if you did make sure to leave a like Subscribe if you're new or haven't subbed already, and I will see you on the next one. So take care. Have a great day, everybody, and goodbye.